There'll be nobody left behind to grieve And we will all go together when we go What a comforting fact that is to know Universal bereavement, an inspiring achievement Yes, we all will go together when we go and I guess I'll need to remind Mother Pearl that hand grenades are not considered acceptable gifts outside of Nellis, even if they were nicely wrapped. Now, if you want to assassinate someone, or if you just want to declare war with a touch of comedy, then sure. But as a peace offering? Dear God. This is the sort of thing we're gonna have to teach them, aka common sense. Just lost a month's caps. Well, I would offer to teach you too, but you're broke, so fuck off, idiot. Either way, it's not our problem anymore. I can only assume the NCR has professionals to deal with this sort of thing, but considering the state of the Mojave is in right now, I can't say I have the utmost confidence in those people. Hey, <laughs> that's what you get when you pay diplomats minimum wage. I swear, if I was in charge, every diplomat would have a Securitron escort that's rigged to explode in case shit hits the fan. At least then you remove the problem right there and then. But let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. I wouldn't want to take your job now, would I, Mr. Ambassador? After all, right now you're the one who has to deal with the fallout. I am so jealous. Hey. What's up? It's good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. What can I do for you, my friend? Outstanding citizen. <laughs> yeah, sure, Crocker. Whatever helps you sleep at night. If I was a citizen, I would be eligible to run for president. <laughs> yeah, I bet that just turned your pants a darker shade of brown. Luckily, I'm here to talk about the boomers instead of my political ambitions. I hope you've returned with good news. Are they willing to help the NCR? Well, they're certainly willing to help me, and now will be a good time to talk about my political ambitions. I've got a few ideas on how to spend our annual budget, and only some of it involves blackjack. But seriously, you might want to brush up on your explosive ordnance knowledge. For small talk, of course. That's great. They're going to give us an advantage in the battle ahead. In any event, I have another assignment ready and waiting for you. But we can speak of it later. Rest up, and when you're ready, speak to me again. Well, if only you were so considerate when you sent me to cross over No Man's Land. Wait a minute. What are you actually doing on that computer? Uh, you do realize that thing has crashed, right? Oh my fucking god. Well, sorry Mr. President, but it looks like you appointed a blind idiot. Go figure. It's good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. What can I do for you, my friend? Uh, never mind me. How about you reset that terminal first? It's the big red button. You can always try to sever the power cord with your teeth if you really want, but I wouldn't recommend that. Actually, you mentioned a second assignment, right? Tell me about it now and then try to reset your computer. So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcomed here, merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Well, let's see now. I'm in the strip right now, so yes, I went through there, you idiot. The only other way in here is that monorail, and after disabling that bomb, there is no way in hell I'm ever getting on one of those things. At this point, I feel like I know more about Freeside than you do. Violence is something of a way of life there, but there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Hold on a minute, I thought we already settled this with the whole fiasco about giving away food to the squatters. Oh, don't tell me they're breaking the truce already. Well, I can certainly look into this, but I need some details first. Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First. Our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a king named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Pacer? Oh good god, how did I know he would be involved somehow? That guy is slimy enough to crawl down the toilet. In fact, I'm pretty sure he has once or twice. Well, I am developing a reputation for getting rid of slimy individuals. It's all about the technique. Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. Oh, I'm pretty sure he would have more than a few enemies. I wouldn't be surprised if bullets don't just hold me in on him. That's how much of a dickhead he is. But you just mentioned an alternative method, and I can't help but feel that's the one you want me to go for. 
I'm not a violent man myself, so I had our guys come up with an alternate solution on the off chance that our agent-to-be shared my sentiments. In that case, we could take a different tact, but one that I at least have more experience with, diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The Kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang, a man who calls himself the King. Oh yes, that guy. Funny name. I wonder where he got it from. So, go on then. Tell me what you know about him. I'd like to see if your agents did their homework. I'm gonna bet they didn't. He's Caucasian, in his mid-30s, and extremely charismatic. It's that last part we're counting on. The Kings are a bunch of young hoodlums who aren't inclined to listen to anyone except him. Get him on your side, and the rest will fall in line. And apparently you don't know that he got his charisma by impersonating someone from before the war. You see, I told you I know more than you do. So let me guess, you want me to do your job for you again? Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here, and we'll take it from there. Surprise, surprise, I was right. How much do you get paid each month? Because I'm gonna have to ask for at least half of that as a reward. Seriously, what I'm about to do is probably worth at least a couple of months of you going back and forth like a headless Brahmin. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. Oh, believe me, I am absolutely considering that option right now. But if I'm gonna kill him, it has to be public. None of this cloak and dagger shit. You see? Even Rex agrees that he should know that guy better than me. Well, don't expect a miracle, okay? If you hear explosions, then just assume negotiations has hit a few snacks along the way. Stock up on apology letters and body bags. Well, this shouldn't be too difficult. I mean, the king does owe me a favor. I'm sure we can work something out. Worst case scenario, we have to throw something else in to sweeten the deal. A lifetime supply of hair products should do the trick. That is, of course, we actually go through with this idea. What's on your mind? I'll tell you, after everything I've done for the king, that favor belongs to me and no one else, understand? Fucking Crocker couldn't find his ass if it wasn't on his backside. You see, that's what I'm talking about. I need to spend my valuable time, effort, and frankly my voice just so I can make Crocker's life easier. But obviously, we're gonna act like the reasonable party here and at least pretend we tried our best. So anyone got any interesting stories to tell? This might take some time. When he left, I was too in my crib to understand why, and around the time Mom passed, I was too into my teens to listen. Got his name, got this pendant, and that's about it. My mother never told me what happened to my father. Not sure what my parents would think of me fighting for the NCR. Okay, that's it. I'm officially ending this session of sob stories. Uh, for the love of God, I just wanted to pass the time, okay? At least tell me about something cathartic, like dropping a stink bait into someone's pockets and watch them get swamped by rat roaches. I'm not sure where I got that image from, but you get the idea. Oh, uh, to hell with this. I'm going back to Crocker. And for the record, no, I don't know who my parents Hello? were. Certainly not you. But anyway, I don't know where I was born or even what my real name is. For all I know, I never even had a real name. Hell, I could have been an underground agent with multiple aliases. Or I could have been an escaped prisoner. Just use your imagination. Either way, the world is not going to change just because I killed six security guards on my way out instead of five. And don't read too much into that, by the way. I don't need you guys giving me this shit on top of the shit I already have. Bottom line is, you are all full-grown adults with your own lives. Even if your parents were still around at this point, they would have to accept you the way you are. You don't need to prove jack shit to them. If anything, they're the ones who should be judged. So cheer up, all of you. For all you know, they're watching you in the afterlife right now giving high fives to each other. Anyways, back to business. This whole thing is proof yet again that I'm somehow better at something than the professionals are. The NCR recruitment agency must be banging their heads against the wall right now. What's up, Crocker? Still trying to reboot your computer? Hey. Yep, just keep going. You'll do it eventually. Ah, hello. I trust you have something to report concerning the Freeside situation? Yeah, about that. Yes, do you have something to report? Well, it turns out the King isn't prepared to settle a dispute that's years in the making just because I asked him to. You didn't even give me anything to bargain with, and I tried the whole good cop, bad cop thing. I did stop short of challenging him to a dance-off. I do still have some self-respect left, thank you. That's most unfortunate. In this circumstance, I've been instructed to send you along to Colonel Moore over at Hoover Dam for further orders. The Colonel will likely send you back to Freeside with a squad of armed men. 
For all the good that will do. Oh, do I sense a touch of insubordination? Hold on a minute. Yep, Boom is clearly not in the room right now or he'll be pointing his rifle straight at your face. Good lord, politicians and military sharing mutual dislike for each other. Are we cliched enough yet? Oh, I like the colonel just fine. She's a good soldier, one of the best. I just don't think her general approach to things is a good fit here. See, the colonel likes to solve things neatly, quickly, and efficiently through a show of force if possible and through actual force if necessary. That won't work here. Unless she plans on killing half the population of Freeside, sending soldiers to the area will only make things worse. Really? I'm surprised you actually care. I mean, come on, isn't that the whole plan in the first place? Replace the locals with your own people? I know how you guys think. You don't give a shit about the outsiders. If you don't like that, then prove me wrong. Tell me how else you feel like approaching this. I'd suggest you speak to Colonel Shu over at Camp McCarran. He's much more level-headed about this sort of thing. He's also in a better position to bargain with the people of Freeside seeing as how he's in charge of water and power distribution in the area. Still, I'm only mentioning it as an option. My official orders are to direct you to Colonel Moore. Godspeed. Yeah, of course. You have to make the paperwork look nice, right? That's assuming you can actually do that with a quote-unquote broken computer. Well, I guess it's back to actual paper for you. Okay, new plan. We're going back to the airport. Yes, boo. That airport. And no, we're not stopping for a chat with the soldiers. Assuming they haven't blown themselves up yet. That reminds me, the boomers aren't the only people who's bad with landmines. And then he started limping his way back to base. Go ahead, try to blame that one on bad drill sergeants, boom. Stupid motherfuckers. You have to hand a speed the yard. Get enough hands working together and they can make or break just about anything. Oh yes, I've seen it. It's just unfortunate that they seem to be better at doing the latter. Yeah? Uh, yeah, Boom. Let's look at the score sheet here. Things they broke or left to rot include, but not limited to, the correctional facility, Fallout Hope, Boulder City, and Freeside if we let them have their way. Meanwhile, the most impressive thing they've built so far is that monument at the Mojave Outpost. Oh yeah, it's looking real good for you guys. Obviously, the Legion is better at breaking things. I do have eyes, you know, but that's all they do, and they're good at it. You have to give them that. The NCR is just failing on all fronts, and they're dragging everyone else down with them. Hell, that would include us if we're not careful. I mean, just look at that relief effort they were trying to set up. It was a nice idea. 10 out of 10 for thoughtfulness, but minus 100 on execution. It almost ended up starting a war with the Kings right there and then. Until we stepped in, of course. And now look at us, wiping their backsides after they've shot themselves once again. At least Shu here is more reasonable. Please tell me you're reasonable. Something I can do for you? No, actually, we just came here to salute your painting of the president. How's my poker face, by the way? Look who it is. I haven't had the privilege, but I'm told you've been an angel on our shoulder. What can we do for you at Camp McCarran? Uh, I think it's more accurate to say what can you do for Ambassador Crocker. Now normally, I wouldn't expect you to give a shit about a settlement on the other side of the strip. But considering all the shit I've already cleaned up for you guys here, I'd expect you to at least give some fecal matter about the Freeside situation. Ah, that. I'm surprised he didn't send you to Colonel Moore. That'd be her jurisdiction. Indeed it would be. But tell me, how much do you like the smell of rotting corpses? I hope the answer is a lot, because if that woman had her way, you will get to smell it over here. Hell, maybe even the guys and gals at the Mojave Outpost will smell it. That's gonna look pretty bad in the papers, and apparently you're the guy who can offer an alternative. Well, I do get to make the calls on the distribution of supplies there. Crocker was probably counting on me being able to offer the Kings a carrot. And that's what I'm inclined to do. All right. Moore's not gonna like it, but that's for Crocker to worry about. Go to the leader of the Kings, and tell him that I'll make sure Freeside gets more water, power, and food, as long as the violence there stops. Oh man, you are just glowing with enthusiasm, aren't you? I know, I know, preventing a massacre rather than causing one is such a lame idea. I'm glad you decided to bite the bullet and go through with it anyway. You are such a hero. Quickly, someone invent an award so we can give it to him. God damn it, this is what I'm talking about. It's like the NCI is not only lacking common sense, they're actively resisting it as well. I need a break from this. You guys wait for me here. I want to check up on a few people, especially the wife of that dead ranger. What was his name? Esteban? I hope they've sent her home by now. If you're not gonna give a shit about people's feelings, then at least understand that a depressed soldier is not a good soldier. Where's the psychiatrist around here, and has he recovered from exhaustion yet? I definitely don't want to do that job for the NCR. I'll happily murder people for them, but not that. Well, I see you're still here. 
Uh, are you sure you're allowed to carry a gun around like that right now? Hello. Yeah, the Quartermaster clearly doesn't give a shit about his job. How are you, by the way? Feels better knowing that Esteban's not out there in the waste. But... He's still gone, you know? Yeah, that's pretty much the same story with all the other dead soldiers out here. And seriously, please put the gun away. Play on the slot machine or something to clear your mind. Yeah, she is totally gonna lose her shit any day now. At least before I brought back Esteban's body, she still has something to look forward to. Now what the hell is she gonna do? I swear to god, if she goes on a killing spree and they end up blaming me for it... <laughs> better not happen is what I'm saying. And now for the real reason I'm over here. This Contreras guy better have something seriously good for me at the end of all this, or I'm telling everyone he gave Esteban blanks. Come to think of it, you're the Quartermaster. Uh, you realize that woman's gonna kill everyone with that gun, right? Hello. I'm wasting my time, you don't give a flying fuck. So you're back. Yeah, shocking, right? Are you done preparing for whatever the hell you were doing before? I could barely remember what this whole thing was about. Alright, I need you to pass something off to a merchant. The guy's name is Price. The exchange goes down at Miguel's pawn shop in Westside. This next bit is very important. He's paranoid, maybe a little schizo. You have to identify yourself with a passcode or he'll shoot you right there. Just tell him you're looking for some betting advice. Then he'll say the surest move is to bet on the house. Whoa, is that supposed to be anything? Is Mr. Housey on this somehow? <laughs> that guy's fucking prolific. Yeah, it means you don't get shot. I don't get shot? Ha, <laughs> I think you'll find it's Price who's gonna need the warning, not me. So I just say the magic words and things will happen, right? This is some espionage bullshit we're doing. If it turns out you're just Curtis number two, then you know what will happen. I'll just get this over and done with. Be sure you do. If you get this last job done, full access to my stash. At a discount even, just because I like you. Get moving, watch out for raiders, and do not lose that package. Good luck. Hey, I'll do whatever the hell I like with this thing. It's mine now. That's what you get for trusting in a guy like me. Seriously though, don't you fuck me on this one. If it turns out this thing has a bomb hidden inside, then shit is going to hit the fan. Blood and guts too, and maybe a limb and a couple of fingers. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get Eddie to scan this later. Well, I'm glad to see the black market is still alive and well. Although we're not exactly in a region where laws actually mean anything. So does the black market concept even exist here? I'm sure the good old NCR would say yes and then slap a pair of handcuffs on me for questioning that bunch of killjoys. Nope. Part of the thrill of taking illegal camps is a knowledge that is illegal. Why can't they grasp that? Wow, did you guys literally stand here the whole time? Well, I appreciate you waiting for me, but Jesus, take a load off and relax once in a while. We're VIPs here, more or less, so loosen up and start abusing that shit. I don't think you will get a chance to do that back in Freeside, even if you wanted to. We've all seen where they like to hang out. And then they shoved it right in there, gave it a real hard tugging. And the noises, God. Yeah, this is why I will never use a pre-war toilet ever again. Oh God, it's a mugger! Hey, you're the one who's been going around helping people around here, right? The king says to keep up the good work, and said to give you this. Uh, did you just give me money? Uh, hey man, I don't know what the other guys told you, but that's not how it works. Yeah, just as well, I guess. I would have shot him otherwise. Maybe he knew that would happen, and that was just his way of appeasing me. If only someone else around here is that smart. Ah, this is not a good day to stop pushing me, kid. Uh, okay. I thought we left the airport already. Why am I seeing NCR troopers here? Oh, don't tell me they've jumped the gun already. God damn it, why do I bother? I'm actually trying to be subtle for once, but that's not allowed, apparently. You, what the hell is going on here? It's been a long tour. All I can think about now is going back home. Okay, does anyone want to actually answer my question? No? Well, good. You can all go to hell. Well, there's a distinct lack of blood in here, so I guess things haven't kicked off yet. With a heavy emphasis on the word yet. Oh, holy shit, Eddie, you're gonna poke my eye out one of these days. Seriously, though, what's happening, guys? Did you start the negotiations without me? Has it broken down already? And somebody say something! Hi. Screw you. God, that's a lot of guns. I guess Colonel Moore isn't fucking around. Well, you look super happy about this situation. Okay, I need some answers now. These guys just barged in here and said they were under orders to keep me here until you arrived. I'm about five seconds away from telling my men to take them down, so speak fast. Ha, uh, seriously, have you looked around recently? I don't know how long they've been here already, but I can already tell you are in a bit of a disadvantage. Luckily for you, I'm actually here to offer you the deal of the century. The NCI is gonna send you more resources in exchange for a bit less killing around here. Boy, they haggle hard, don't they? That sounds fair. 
And all I have to do is try to tone down the attacks on the squatters, you say? Yeah, no shit. This is bullshit. Oh, boy. Why are we even talking about dealing with these guys? Here we go. Pace, Hello. this isn't really a good time to have this discussion. Uh, anyone got any popcorn? Wrong. This is exactly the right time. I'm about to prevent you from making a huge mistake. Pace, don't do this. I won't we stand won't go with you quiet. if you do. The Legion can then I'll count stand on, that. on my own, just like I always have. Just like a king should. Wait, are you serious? Hey. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Holy shit! What is happening? Who do I shoot at? Okay, can we just calm down for a minute? What the fuck just happened? Seriously, somebody talk to me. What did we just do? Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. Oh, thanks for that. Hello. Okay, can we get an actual What's replay up? on that right now? That was not a declaration of war, right? I wish I had a first recon guy looking after me. And that is beyond the point right now, lady. Uh, hey, don't just walk away. We need to have a word about hey, this. Hello? Like, right now. I, I can't believe Pace is gone. He was always right here, you know? Always cracking me up with some story or another. Anyway, what did you want? Yeah, I'm sure that was a traumatic experience, and I actually mean it this time. I'm still not sure what I just witnessed, but seriously, I'm just gonna assume we have a deal now. Remember, stop killing NCR squatters, and you get fabulous prizes in return, okay? We cool? Alright, I'm leaving now. You just come the fuck down. Alright, I'll see you later. Wow, really? Your best friend is dead for no more than one minute, and you're already smooth talking? I'm sorry, but I just lost some respect for you. I'll tell you who I can respect though, that guy on the stage. Yeah boy, you keep dancing, don't let anything here stop you.